died along the way. We don't believe that they are they are gone forever. We always believe our ancestors are somewhere comfortable and they are willing to support all of us. Uh, so whenever you come to your ancestral roots, you, the, the land is yours and the land should know us. How do the land know who you are? Is by walking barefooted on the land. For your ancestors to know, yes, this is my children. This is the, the rhythm at which my children walk. This is the feeling that I have from the feet of my children. Sometimes when we are going through the ancestral roots, our brothers and sisters walk through that same journey over thousand and thousand miles just to be here. So sometimes we need to put ourselves in it to understand it better. So it is not binding. It is optional when we are walking through our ancestral roots because we want to know, we want to understand what they thought. We, because it will be that that we can say the story as it is. Sometimes when we go through ancestral roots, I always say it's not binding, it's optional, but we go with our shoes off. If you can go, it's okay. If you can wear your shoes, it's okay. But for me, I always go with my shoes off because of the blessings that I've, that I've had from this same journey. So whenever I'm going there, I'll never go there with my shoes off. Because my ancestors have to endure more than what we are about to observe. So for me to walk barefooted, I've done nothing. <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I'm nobody. Mm -hmm. But I'm just walking barefooted. But it's still not, I said it's not optional. It's optional, it's not binding. So we're making our way through the ancestral roots. Then from there, it is, not, it is more about meditations and reflection. No talking, just think about it. So please, can we go?